it's important for us to give to the community because in actuality, it is part of our, of our DNA and our culture. It, it connects us with the Austin community, which we love being a part of, and it also connects us with each other. So it is extremely important and it is a big part of our entire organization. We're fortunate in that we provide uh, a service, a uh, healthcare, dental healthcare service that is uh, needed in this community. <clears throat> in the um, Travis County, there are approximately 50,000 people that don't have access to dental health. <clears throat> so we partnered with the Capillary Dental Foundation, our very own nonprofit called Dentist with a Heart, and with the generous donation of other nonprofits or for profits and their, their nonprofit wing, the St. David's Foundation and generous um, vendors, we created these events called Community Dental Day. And throughout the year at various offices, volunteer dentists and hygienists and, and support staff, including assistants and, and front desks come together and provide charitable dental services to the needy and the underserved. Uh, last year alone, we provided in excess of $300,000 worth of uh, charitable dental services and primarily um, extractions, um, simple you know, fillings and restorations, um, cleanings and things of that nature that can be provided uh, in you know, a one hour setting. We usually serve um, approximately 150 patients per day. My goal is, and we do this on a Saturday, so not only the Rose Dental facilities, but other uh, dental offices uh, volunteer their facilities to host these events. So it's a compilation of different dentists and hygienists and dental assistants and, and front desk staff support coming together. <clears throat> My goal is a thousand patients on any given Saturday. Um, so it, it's a pretty special event. The, the spirit that's captured in those events and the spirit of giving is, I always say, I wish we could capture that spirit on Monday when patients are actually paying us for those services. Well, you know, we, we give at these events, but we actually get so much more. The emotional response from many of these patients that someone, um, you know, treated them with dignity and care in, in a professional setting and that were attentive to their needs is just really overwhelming. Uh, sometimes it's made the difference in, in some of our patients in being able to um, get a job and or uh, in, enlist in the military. Periodically, we take several patients that we find uh, out of these community dental days and actually follow up with them and do more extensive work. So it's really incredible. There are a lot of, um, well, this is before COVID, there are a lot of uh, hugs and, and smiles and, and tears that are often shed in these events. Well, you know, the, the, that program was just a natural for us, but I think our giving plan, which is crafted and selected by our employees is actually much more broader scale. And of course, the, you know, the caveat here is that the majority of these programs were um, implemented and manifesting uh, pre-COVID, but we know we're gonna come back to that maybe in different ways. And then currently we're looking for uh, alternative ways that we can still give to the community. So some of the, um, uh, the giving plan is this is selected by our employees of what types of community um, impacts we're going to have or outreach. And so some of them are like adopt a family during um, the holiday season. We adopt eight, 12, as many as 16 families where we provide, the employees provide um, all of us collectively their uh, Christmas uh, wish list. There's also toys for tots, uh, those are seasonal, but the employees also select other things that they're interested in in giving to the community, uh, such as volunteering at animal shelter, 
uh, environmental uh, cleanup. Uh, also the Susan G. Komen, we've been working with them for um, you know many years. Mobile loaves and fishes, that's always very special. Um, I haven't gotten to drive the, the food truck yet, but I'm still looking forward to that. <clears throat> uh, or volunteering at a, at a soup kitchen, um, volunteering at the food bank, either passing out food um, or just working there. These are some of the activities that um, our employees have selected. <clears throat> and we they contribute not only their services, but they can contribute through income reduction per payroll, um, $1, $5, whatever they want to contribute. And um, Rosenthal matches some of those funds. Um, aside from that, we provide four high school seniors in the local area uh, with scholarships, which is you know, really important. And the scholarship is unique. And again, our staff really came up with this. They wanted to give the scholarship to the most improved senior. <clears throat> and I thought that was unique. So this is all part of our giving plan. It, giving is so much a part of, of who we are and how we're connected to the community that actually says that on the back of our t-shirts, a commitment to community.